After Han Zhu crippled Li Qianlong, he threw him into the main peak for Li Qingzi to lead people in dealing with him, then returned to the innate cave dwelling and placed Wei Yuan's body on the ground. With a hand gesture like a sword, a soul emerged from his forehead, revealing itself to be Huang Zuntian, the leader of the raincoat holy sect. Huang Zuntian thought Han Zhu had released him because it was time for his execution, but Han Zhu coldly asked him, Do you want to be resurrected? Hearing that resurrection was possible, Huang Zuntian immediately became overjoyed. Han Zhu said, I have a body here whose primordial spirit has been eradicated, but the vitality of the flesh remains. You can resurrect by seizing it. Wang Zuntian knelt down with a slap and swore, after resurrection, I will follow the senior's lead exclusively, otherwise, may the heart devil consume me and my body perish along my path. He also expressed his intention to sever all ties with the raincoat holy sect once he returned. Return to the raincoat holy sect? What are you thinking? The raincoat holy church no longer exists. Han Ju found Wang Zuntian's words sincere and his conduct acceptable, but he could not fully trust him yet. Han Ju calmly stated, This body belongs to the deputy sect leader of the Nine Dragons sect from the Western Abyss Province, a grand cultivator of the Fusion Void Realm, whose primordial spirit I have destroyed. I hope you can take his place. A grand cultivator of the Fusion Void Realm? Huang Zuntian's eyelids twitched wildly. I did not die in vain, but he was filled with dread inside. Han Ju explained, I am not afraid of the Nine Dragons sect, but wish to avoid endless troubles. You just need to stabilize the Nine Dragons sect and conceal this matter. I have left my mark of reincarnation in your soul. If you ever betray me, I can kill you with a single thought. Huang Zuntian quickly nodded and swore, from now on, I will never be an enemy to the senior. After hearing this, Han Zhu instructed Huang Zuntian to hurry and possess the body. Seven days later, Huang Zuntian successfully possessed the body. The system notified, Huang Zuntian's favorability towards you has increased. Seeing this notification, Han Zhu smiled satisfactorily, finding old Huang even more pleasing to the eye. Huang Zuntian took a deep breath, walked up to Han Zhu, and bowed respectfully, I have been calling you the God-slaying elder, which is not proper etiquette. May I ask for your esteemed name or title? Han Ju still did not want to reveal his name, fearing that there might still be treasures like the Book of Misfortune in this world. So, he named himself after the Six Realms of Reincarnation, telling Huang Zuntian, You can call me Reincarnation. Huang Zuntian thought, Such a powerful name, I must hold onto these coattails tightly. At this moment, Huang Zuntian sensed that the Nine Dragon sect was calling for him. Han Ju instructed him to set off immediately. Do not arouse suspicion from the Nine Dragon sect. Before leaving, Han Ju advised Huang Zuntian, speak less when you return, to avoid giving yourself away. Huang Zuntian, however, had another idea in mind. Han Ju asked, what idea? Huang Zuntian said, to use my expertise. Senior, do you need me to work my way up to the position of sect leader of the Nine Dragons sect? Han Ju responded, if it makes you happy, as long as you do not disturb me and the Jade Pure sect, you are free to develop as you wish. After dealing with Huang Zuntian's matter, the system once again popped up a notification. You have successfully protected the Jade Pure sect and earned a spell manual. Congratulations congratulations on obtaining the art of reincarnation. This spell can reveal the true form of all beings. Seeing the system notification now, Han Ju thought, it seems that being cautious was necessary. The effects of karma are indeed terrifying. A month later, Li Qingzi came to find Han Ju, bringing with him a pile of heavenly materials and earthly treasures. Li Qingzi said, these treasures were sent by the 19th root sect as an apology. I specifically selected the best ones for Elder Han. Li Qingzi continued, I have confronted the leaders of various sects, and it turns out that Li Qianlong, the bastard, was behind this. He is now imprisoned by me. From the prison, Li Qianlong cursed. When I get out, I will kill you all. Li Qingzi added, however, we have issued wanted orders for Zhou Fan and Mafuchu, but they seem to have vanished from the face of the earth. I'm a bit worried about them. Han Ju consoled. Don't worry, they are both capable individuals and might have already left the Great Swallow. Li Qingzi mentioned, speaking of which, the Wei family has been expelled from the Great Swallow cultivation world by other sects. Without their schemes, the various powers within the Great Swallow are much more peaceful. Han Ju agreed, that's good, we have no intention of dominating, only through peaceful cultivation can our sect thrive. One day, Han Ju opened the relationship list, and the system showed, your friend Mafuchu has accidentally entered an ancient forbidden area, and obtained ancient heritage, your friend Zhou Fan has accidentally entered an ancient forbidden area, and obtained ancient heritage, Han Ju imagined for a moment and muttered, they wouldn't end up together in the future, would they? Continuing through the list, Han Ju sighed, why are these people, especially my disciples, so troublesome? Suddenly, the system system sent a prompt, innate destiny individual detected, do you wish to view their origins? Han Ju exclaimed in surprise, no way, another one? The system displayed that this person was named Sun Chang'an, at the seventh level of the foundation establishment realm, and was the reincarnation of a primordial spiritual ginseng. In a previous life, he was nurtured by Buddhists but fell into a love trap with a female demon, angering the gods and Buddhists, who then cast him into the moral realm. Hearing that the god-slaying elder of the Jade Pure sect was the world's foremost ascetic cultivator, he specifically 
likely came to become a disciple, hoping to cultivate with the God-slaying elder and thus forget the secular world. Han Ju scanned with his spiritual sense and saw Sun Chanan had already arrived at the foot of the ascetic immortal mountain. Han Ju thought to himself, this guy really is ugly. Sun Chanan knelt in front of the steel, thinking, I absolutely cannot continue being a lickspittle. Xiao Mei, no, I must stop thinking about her. He shouted loudly, I, Sun Chanan, beg the God-slaying elder to take me as a disciple. After saying this, he began to count out. An hour passed with no response. Sun Chanan thought he wasn't devout enough, so he continued to kneel with his hands clasped together. He firmly believed, as long as I persist, my sincerity will surely move the senior. Han Ju thought, although a primordial spiritual ginseng is valuable, it could also attract trouble. Let's wait and see a bit longer. Thus, as spring passed and autumn came, the seasons changed in their turn. Sun Chanan did not receive a reply, but he continued to kneel in worship. Later, Sun Chanan became known throughout the Jade Pure sect for kneeling day and night at the foot of ascetic immortal mountain. His determination became a topic of interest, with disciples occasionally visiting just to see Sun Chanan. After initially calling out once, Sun Chanan did not shout again. He continued to kneel in front of the steel, occasionally kowtowing. This kneeling lasted for five years, a full five years. One day, Maju came to visit. Having not seen her for decades, Maju had shed her former immaturity and now resembled more of a fairy. Han Ju noticed the complexity in Maju's eyes and smiled, asking, Miss Emma, are you planning to follow your brother and fall into the demon path? Maju sighed, Yes, I plan to find my clan brother and seek revenge together. Han Ju frowned, After so many years, you still can't let go of this grudge? Maju said, I thought I had let go of my hatred, but I've found in my cultivation that it has become my heart demon. If I cannot overcome it, this heart demon will always hinder me, preventing me from reaching the nascent soul stage. Maju took a deep breath and said, I specifically came to bid you farewell. In the entire Jade Pure sect, besides my clan brother, you are the one I care about the most. You are the only one who has moved my heart. Han Ju thought to himself, uh oh, this sounds like a confession. In the midst of speaking, Maju came closer. There are some things I must do, or I'll regret them later. Afterward, Maju's face flushed with embarrassment. Han Ju, let's part ways here. Han Ju grabbed her hand. Maju froze, waiting expectantly for Han Ju to say something. However, Han Ju quickly let go. He simply imprinted the six paths ultimate seal into her soul. With their cultivation levels so far apart, she didn't notice anything. Since you've made up your mind, be careful on your way, Han Ju said emotionlessly. Maju withdrew her arm, cursing inwardly. You bid jerk, what was I expecting? She felt like crying as she turned to leave. Parting now, I wonder if we'll ever meet again in this life. Why won't he ask me to stay? Even just a gesture would do. Unable to resign herself, Maju suddenly turned back and loudly said, Han Ju, if I return safely, would you be willing to marry me? Han Ju was stunned by the question. He didn't answer directly, but said, of course, you'll return safely. This is typically how a scoundrel would respond. Maju cried with joy, Han Ju, I knew I wasn't wrong about you. However, the next second, as Maju just stepped out of Han Ju's cave, she was caught by Master Jingxu and Li Jingzi. Han Ju pointed at Maju and said, see, I told you you'd be safe. Immediately after, Maju was taken away by Master Jingxu. When she revealed her intentions, Han Ju had immediately notified Li Qingzi with his spiritual sense. Li Qingzi wouldn't dare let Maju defect. The rebels had already caused enough trouble for the Jade Pure sect. Then, Li Qingzi brought up Sun Chanan at the foot of the mountain. If I remember correctly, that monk has been kneeling for five years now, right? Han Ju thought, oh no, I've been so absorbed in cultivation that I forgot about him. Han Ju teleported to the foot of the mountain. Sun Chanan appeared somewhat delirious, his body swaying as he knelt. Even as a foundation establishment realm cultivator, kneeling for five years was taking its toll. Han Ju spoke, his tone indifferent, your perseverance is commendable. I'll take you in. Sun Chanan instinctively looked up at him, his voice trembling, God slaying. Elder, it is I. Han Ju replied, this Sun Chanan really is ugly. The visual impact up close is significant. Sun Chanan quickly cowed out to Han Ju. Disciple Sun Chanan greets master. Han Ju looked at Sun Chanan and said, by becoming my disciple, you cannot leave this mountain unless you attain immortality. Are you willing? Upon hearing this, Sun Chanan couldn't help but be overjoyed. My only desire is to cultivate in seclusion, far from the secular world, which is why I sought you out. Seeing his determination, Han Ju led him back to the cave dwelling. However, Han Ju really didn't want to look at his face all the time, so he instructed him to find his own place for cultivation. When you break through to the Golden Core Realm, I will teach you more profound techniques. At this moment, a system notification suddenly appeared in front of Han Ju. By taking three innate destiny individuals as disciples, your fortune has increased, and your cultivation path has changed. You have the following choices. 1. The Path of the Sword Immortal. Enter the Tao with the Sword. After reaching the Great Vehicle Stage, you can ascend to the Immortal Realm and become a Heavenly Sword Immortal. 2. The Six Realms of Reincarnation. Break the Tao with Loss. After reaching the Great Vehicle Stage, you can enter the Underworld and become a Ghost Sword Immortal. 3. The Reincarnation Sword Immortal. Cultivate both the Tao of the Sword and the Tao of Reincarnation. You can transcend the Three 
realms and the five elements, moving freely. Han Ju carefully considered the three options. There are such benefits. The path of the sword immortal seems too mundane. The ghost sword immortal and the reincarnation sword immortal seem to originate from the six realms of reincarnation technique I practice. Based on the descriptions, the third option is clearly the strongest. So, I'll choose that. You have chosen the reincarnation sword immortal path and obtained a divine ability inheritance. Cultivate both the six paths spiritual root and the Tao of the sword to their peaks to enter the next stage. Congratulations, you have acquired the divine ability, Mysterious Yellow Sword Energy. Mysterious Yellow Sword Energy is a divine ability of the sword path. Cultivate a Mysterious Yellow Sword Energy in the Golden Core. When expelled, the sword energy is extremely lethal. Spitting out sword energy? System, you really don't see me as a human. What kind of inheritance is this? Please make sure to pass on more. As time flew by, 12 years passed. Since Sun Chang joined, the spiritual energy within the cave dwelling indeed increased. Han Ju took advantage of this to successfully break through to the fourth level of the fusion void realm. Thanks to decades of transformation with heavenly materials and earthly treasures, the Jade Pure Sex spiritual energy significantly increased. The spiritual energy enveloped the peaks like fog, and the cultivation levels of both inner and outer sect disciples improved markedly, bringing benefits to the entire sect. After the Jade Purity Art was upgraded, the Elder's cultivation limit increased to the fusion void realm. The Jade Pure Sect was on its way to becoming the number one sect in the Great Swallow. One day, with nothing better to do, Han Ju decided to check what was happening in his circle of friends. To his surprise, too many people had a favorable impression of him, most of them from the Jade Pure Sect, making it a dizzying task to catch up. How am I supposed to finish reading all these updates? How am I supposed to cultivate like this? The system, being clever, immediately sent a prompt to Han Ju. Actually, by clicking the special attention button under the character's portrait, you won't have to worry about missing any friend's updates. System, you sly thing. I remember this feature wasn't available before. Why didn't you say so earlier? After choosing to pay special attention, the amount of irrelevant content significantly reduced. His friend's situations were lively and varied. The more Han Ju read, the more he affirmed his determination. It's safer to stay and cultivate in the Jade Pure Sect. Suddenly, the system showed that a friend's status had been updated. Han Ju thought, can a status update in real time? The system prompted, your disciple Su Chi is being pursued and attacked by seven sects jointly. Chasing after the Calamity Star, which sects are so lucky? Elsewhere, as the sunset dyed the sky blood red and the atmosphere turned desolate, a group of cultivators focused on one direction. There stood a man on the hillside, unmistakably Su Chi. Su Chi was covered in blood, with disheveled hair and torn robes, looking extremely wretched. He gritted his teeth as he glared at the enemies surrounding him. The crowd cursed loudly, Demon, you must die today. Su Chi, you fiend, see where you can run to now. Hand over our sect's secret treasure, and you shall not die. The reason Su Chi was being pursued was that he had too many treasures on him. Over the decades, he had killed countless cultivators, and all their possessions were taken by him. With Su Chi's current strength, dealing with these individuals one by one wouldn't be difficult. However, even a fierce tiger can't withstand a pack of wolves, and Su Chi was already overwhelmed. Su Chi had no choice but to use his most powerful divine ability, looking up to the sky and shouting, Master, save me. Hearing Su Chi call out, all the cultivators stopped in their tracks, nervously looking around. Su Chi always managed to escape danger, and those who pursued him met tragic ends, so they suspected Su Chi had someone powerful backing him. However, no one answered him. The cultivators looked at Su Chi and saw something was off, realizing they might have been tricked. Thus, they all charged at Su Chi together. In the chaos of the attack, Su Chi was forced to retreat, barely able to hold on. Suddenly, thunderclouds gathered, and the sky quickly darkened, turning ominous. Everyone, frightened, looked up. Thunder roared and fierce winds raged, the scene resembling an apocalypse. When the first bolt of lightning struck, the seven sects realized their nightmare had arrived. The lightning wasn't ordinary, but divine thunder. Master, you finally come. Except for Su Chi, everyone else was struck by disaster. Su Chi looked up with respect. Thank you, Master, for saving me. 1800 years later, during a break from cultivation, Han Ju decided to test Sun Chang'an by testing him with the heart sword technique. Sun Chang'an claimed, I have mastered the heartless sword technique over the years, and will demonstrate it to Master immediately. Drawing his sword and reciting the incantation, he began to display the sword technique. However, as he practiced, Sun Chang'an found himself thinking of Xiao Mei again. Eliminating desires and emotions is indeed as hard as reaching the heavens. Has anyone truly mastered the heartless sword technique? Not wanting to disappoint Han Ju, Sun Chang'an thrust his sword towards the imaginary Xiao Mei. With a clang, the sword was caught between two fingers. The swordsmanship is good, just the cultivation level is a bit low. Hearing this, Sun Chang'an thought, blocked so easily? My swordsmanship really isn't up to par, is it? Sun Chang'an said helplessly, Master, I still can't see through the barrier of emotions. I've disappointed you. Han Ju sighed, let me introduce you. This is your master's wife. Sun Chang'an exclaimed in surprise, What? Master, 
the heartless sword technique you taught must be fake, right? Are you really the world's number one ascetic cultivator? Han Ju kicked Sun Chang out and invited Xing Hongxian in. My husband, over these decades, I've had a great opportunity and gained insight into a powerful technique. Would you like to learn it? I can teach you. Xing Hongxian ran excitedly to Han Ju, offering it like a treasure. Over the years, Xing Hongxuan's cultivation had soared to the eighth level of the Golden Core due to these opportunities. Han Ju shook his head. I've already got a powerful technique. I don't need these. Xing Hongxian, puffing her cheeks, flipped her right hand, revealing a peculiar fruit. This is a miraculous fruit I found in an ancient secret realm. Consuming it can enhance your energy and blood and strengthen your physical body. It's really amazing. I ate one and could shatter a small mountain with a single palm. Han Ju took a fruit and immediately ate it. The fruit melted the moment it entered his throat, turning into a scorching hot flow inside Han Ju's body. Soon, Han Ju felt warm all over, with a noticeable effect. But there's something off about this heat inside. At that moment, Xing Hongxian leaned in and whispered softly, Husband, I heard Ma Zhu visited you. Han Ju felt uneasy, wondering how she knew. In the midst of their conversation, Xing Hongxian pushed Han Ju down. Caught off guard, Han Ju fell backward onto the bed. Xing Hongxian, with a flushed face, said, Sometimes, taking the initiative is necessary. What followed is not suitable for description. Let's skip ahead and leave it to the imagination. Several days later, Li Qingzi's urgent call saved Han Ju. Elder Han, there's trouble. The blood flame heavenly gate from the Great Way Cultivation World has recruited a powerful guest and announced their intention to unify the surrounding cultivation worlds. Han Ju had no energy to care about such matters. Let the destruction happen if it must. He couldn't hold on any longer. Han Ju quickly got dressed and went out to see Li Qingzi's worried expression. Han Ju knew this was serious. The neighboring Great Way Cultivation World has already been unified by the Blood Flame Heavenly Gate. They're preparing to attack us in the Great Swallow, and we're their first target, aiming directly at our Jade Pure Sect. Han Ju questioned, is this Blood Flame Heavenly Gate strong? Li Qingzi admitted uncertainty. At least Fusion Void Realm, or they couldn't have unified the Great Way Cultivation World so quickly. Han Ju wasn't afraid, only concerned about the possibility of encountering someone from the Union Realm. Li Qingzi asked, what if there is someone from the Union Realm? Elder Han, what would you do? Han Ju didn't lie, that depends on when they decide to attack. If they're coming tomorrow, I might run. Li Qingzi chuckled, it won't be tomorrow, considering the distance and resistance from sex along the way. It will take them decades or even longer to reach the Jade Pure Sect. I just wanted to give you a heads up. He could tell what Han Ju meant. Han Ju laughed, well, I might not be able to reach the Union Realm in 10 years either. Li Qingzi was well aware that Han Ju's talent was rare in the world, and his cultivation would surely leap greatly in a few decades. Han Ju always wondered, why don't cultivators focus on their cultivation, comprehend the true meaning of heaven and earth, and pursue eternal life, instead of fighting over territories like mortals? Li Qingzi's explanation cleared his confusion. The ambition of demon cultivators only grows with their cultivation. Moreover, the more cultivation worlds they occupy, the more cultivation resources they can control. After explaining, Li Qingzi remembered another matter. Elder Han, there's news about your disciple. It turns out that Yang Tiandong's disappearance was related to the last time he followed the Jade Pure Sect to a cultivation conference. Li Qingzi said with a strange expression, we found him, but he says he's now a demon king and is living quite well. He doesn't plan to return for the time being. Han Ju responded indifferently, with that kid's intelligence, let him be. Before leaving, Li Qingzi mentioned another issue. By the way, Elder Han, there's been a demonic dog wreaking havoc in the cultivation world. According to descriptions from the disciples, it seems to be the one you're raising? Han Ju replied, don't worry about it. It insisted on going out to wander. It'll come back once it learns its lesson. Li Qingzi sighed, as expected of you. I need to prepare for the blood flame heavenly gate matter, so I'll take my leave now. All right, goodbye. Try not to get beaten up again. When Han Ju returned to his cave dwelling, he found that Xing Hongxian had already left. She left a note saying, my husband is busy with many affairs. I shall join you for a joyful union next time. Seeing such provocative words, Han Ju couldn't help feeling a sense of emptiness, a joyful union, complimenting each other. That might be a good idea. Since the beginning of his cultivation journey, Han Ju had relied on system rewards. He had devoted all his energy to cultivation and had never independently realized the divine ability. Maybe I should try it this way. The Three Pure Shadow Sword is an ultimate offensive technique, currently the strongest single target attack move with a high killing threshold. The 10,000 Sword Divine Sect can summon sword shadows from the river of history, suitable for wide range attacks. Although the scene is grand, its precision and lethality are still lacking. If the two were combined, how terrifying would that be? Tens of thousands of ultimate sword shadows that can freely slay enemies. Wouldn't I be creating my own sword Dao divine ability? In the Western Abyss province, a region without dynasties where demons abound and human dynasties hardly venture, there are many cultivation sects, even more than in the Great Swallow cultivation world. Inside a pavilion of the true martial sect, Wang Jihao was meditating on a bed. Suddenly, the door opened, and a man in blue walked in. This man was handsome but wore a patch over one eye.
Mai. The man in blue asked, Wang Jihao, haven't you thought it through yet? Wang Jihao said expressionlessly, I didn't lose to you because my sword Dao is inadequate. Given another hundred years, I am sure I could defeat you. The Vermilion Bird Sword sect has raised me. I cannot betray them. The man in blue laughed. The true martial sect is stronger than the Vermilion Bird Sword sect, even stronger than the Jade Pure sect of the Great Swallow Cultivation World. Join the true martial sect, and I will train you to be the number one sword cultivator in the world. Wang Jihao smiled bitterly. Is my talent in the Sword Dao really unparalleled in the world? Yet, yeah, I've seen others with even more demonic talent in the Sword Dao. The man in blue asked curiously, someone stronger in the Sword Dao than you? Where did you meet them? Surely not in some corner of your great swallow? Wang Jihao seriously asked, have you heard of the Godslaying Elder from the Jade Pure Set? His strength is comparable to that of Infusion Void Realm Great Cultivator. Wei Yuan of the Nine Dragons Sect returned in defeat, not mentioning a word about their encounter, which speaks volumes of the Godslaying Elder's power. The man in blue disdainfully said, Wei Yuan, his talent was never up to par, achieving Fusion Void Realm through sheer luck and opportunities. Defeating him is not a difficult task. Just then, the treasured sword on the table suddenly began to tremble. Not just his sword, but Huang Jihao's sword resting by his side also started to tremble. Both were shocked. Huang Jihao grabbing his sword. What's happening? Why is my sword trying to break free? The man in blue also grasped his sword. Is it an earthquake? No, it's not an earthquake. They hurried out of the room to the courtyard, only to see many disciples' swords unsheathing simultaneously, uncontrollably flying into the sky. My sword, why is it flying? No, my ancestral treasure sword. Looking up at the sky, both were dumbfounded by the sight before them. Thousands of treasured swords were suspended in the air, with all their tips pointing in the same direction, creating a spectacular scene. The man in blue, shocked, murmured, this is the homage of 10,000 swords, the chorus of sword spirits, the sword Dao of the ages. Huang Jihao, his eyes filled with astonishment, had never before seen all the sex swords fly into the sky, paying homage in the same direction. Most importantly, the direction pointed towards the Great Swallow. Huang Jihao asked, what is the sword Dao of the ages? The man in blue took a deep breath and explained, the sword Dao of the ages is a state of sword Dao divine ability. I never thought that there would be such a genius in the sword Dao in the world today. Huang Jihao was stunned, an image of an unparalleled handsome face emerging in his mind. Could it really be him? Huang Jihao asked through gritted teeth, if I join the true martial sect, could I possibly realize such a divine ability? The man in blue earnestly said, with your talent in the sword Dao, reaching that level is not entirely impossible, but internally he thought, you really dare to dream. Well, it's a kind lie anyway. Suddenly, an old man burst out, who is it? Who has comprehended the sword Dao of the ages? I, with my innate sword heart and 3,000 years of ascetic cultivation, have not found the path. How is this fair? After hearing this, Wang Jihao questioned, you just said with my innate sword heart, reaching that level might be possible? No, I didn't say that. Meanwhile, above the Jade Pure sect, countless treasured swords were suspended in the air, all trembling, pointing towards the mountain of ascetic cultivation to immortality. But Han Ju was unaware of this, thinking to himself, it's so noisy outside early in the morning, really annoying. You're disturbing my comprehension of divine ability. Han Ju, annoyed, walked out of his cave dwelling, only to see little rooster and Sun Chan in trembling in fear for some reason. Looking up, he saw those swords suspended in the air and was stunned. Who the hell caused this commotion? Little rooster urged Han Ju to quickly pack up and flee. There must be a powerful master attacking us. Han Ju ignored it. Looking down at the sword shadow in his palm, he saw golden light radiating and spiritual energy gradually condensing into a golden treasured sword. With a thought, he grasped tightly with his right hand and the sword shadow dissipated. Subsequently, all the swords suspended in the sky worldwide fell down. Sun Chanan and Little Rooster stared at Han Ju dumbfounded, thinking he had once again instantly resolved the crisis with a single move. At this moment, the system prompted, congratulations on comprehending the 10,000 epics grade sword Dao divine ability. Please name it. Han Ju was slightly stunned by the line that appeared before him, 10,000 epics grade? There are grades for divine abilities? After some thought, he decided, let's call it, three pure worlds extermination. Naming successful. Since this is the first time you've comprehended a divine ability, your fortune has increased. You have the following choices. 1. Make a grand appearance with three pure worlds extermination, terrifying the world, and receive a spiritual treasure. 2. Cultivate low-key. Continue to grow stronger until you are invincible in the world, and receive a spiritual treasure. Han Ju silently chose the second option. Little Rooster and Sun Chan and watched Han Ju in silence for a while, thinking he had suffered backlash from casting a spell. Little did they know, Han Ju's body suddenly burst with spiritual light, nearly blinding them. The system notified Han Ju, you have obtained a third grade spiritual treasure Earth Emperor's Spirit Banner. This item is a third grade defensive spiritual treasure, capable of automatically blocking attacks that could harm its owner. Another defensive spiritual treasure, and a third grade one at that. Awesome. Who can touch me? Who can break my defense? He suddenly had a bold thought. If I go out and act high profile now, would the system take back the spiritual treasure? After thinking, he shook his head. Never mind. I wanted to keep a 
low profile anyway. The system offered choices based on my preferences. There's no need to test it. The scene shifts to the western abyss province. The nine dragons set where Huang Zuntian, the body snatcher of Wei Yuan, was cultivating in a Taoist temple. Huang Zuntian opened his eyes to see an old Taoist entering the temple. Sitting down in front of Huang Zuntian, the old man chuckled, Brother Wei, I have come to discuss a matter with you. Huang Zuntian tensed up, Why has the sect master of the nine dragons sect suddenly come to me? The old Taoist spoke, Our sect has been in conflict with the true martial sect for a long time, and other resource-rich areas in the western abyss province have been almost entirely occupied. I want our disciples to enter the Great Swallow cultivation world. You've been to the Great Swallow before, how about you lead the way? Upon hearing this, Wang Zuntian frowned, Invade the Great Swallow, are we tired of living? Wang Zuntian hesitated, Can we not go to the Great Swallow? We could go to other cultivation worlds. The world is vast, and there are better places than the Great Swallow. The old Taoist shook his head, It is precisely because the Great Swallow is weak that we target them. This matter is settled then, prepare yourself, I will go select disciples. The old Taoist smiled, If you handle this matter well, the position of sect master will eventually be yours. Huang Zuntian thought to himself, I'm not interested in your empty promises. Watching him leave, Huang Zuntian secretly vowed, Old Fox, is this what you call a discussion? Damn it, you're forcing my hand. It seems I have no choice but to take your position as sect master. With Han Ju creating an ancient divine ability, it caused a stir across the world. For a time, every sect felt threatened. However, aside from a certain Taoist with the surname Huang, no one believed that the power behind the ancient sword Dao could be hidden in the Great Swallow. Huang Jihao was holding a portrait of Han Ju, desperately explaining, I swear on my integrity, I'm telling the truth, there really is a sword immortal in the Great Swallow. Passersby disbelieved, the Great Swallow is so weak, how could there possibly be a sword immortal? You need to improve your painting skills. A sword immortal doesn't look like this. Huang Jihao was furious, he really does look like this. Hey, meanwhile, at ascetic immortal mountain, Han Ju was making his own heavenly puppet when the system suddenly prompted, you have reached 300 years of age, another 100 years have passed on your cultivation journey. You have the following choices, 1. Come out of seclusion now to show the world your strength and receive a fortune-enhancing divine beast egg. 2. Continue to cultivate in a low-profile manner, hiding your abilities and your name, and receive a spiritual treasure. Han Ju immediately chose the second option without hesitation and obtained another defensive necklace. Excited, he opened the system's relationship panel to see what had happened over the last two years. One particular update caught Han Ju's attention. Your disciple Su Qi has been captured by the royal family of the Great Jin Dynasty. Inside the Great Jin Dynasty, Su Qi was thrown into a room, heavily injured and unable to deal with even two ordinary guards. The soldiers didn't plan to make things harder for him since the emperor had already decreed that Su Qi was to marry the eldest princess. But until the marriage, Su Qi wasn't allowed to go anywhere. The guards outside whispered, How is this guy so lucky to marry the eldest princess? But I heard the eldest princess just took another male concubine yesterday. Shush, we shouldn't speak of this. Besides, the national advisor said the fate of the great Jin dynasty lies with this lad. Isn't that absurd? Hearing he was detained by a dynasty, Su Qi felt uneasy. This is bad. Being detained by a dynasty means if my master comes to rescue me, it'd be opposing the entire dynasty. Master, you better not come. Just then, desperate cries for help came from outside, and Su Qi saw through the door flames and smoke rising. People fleeing shouted, run, what kind of monster is this? Locusts, all locusts, locusts, what's there to be afraid of? So, he looked through the crack of the door towards the distance, and indeed, the sky was filled with locusts larger than houses. Su Qi was stunned, wondering where all these demonic locusts came from. Could it be his master? He cheered, thank you for saving me, master, I will make sure to complete the task. Unaware that he himself had brought about this disaster, soon, Han Ju also received an update from the system, your disciple Su Qi has spread misfortune, causing the great Jin dynasty to suffer from a millennium-level locust plague, floods, and pestilence, bringing the country to the brink of ruin. Above the endless wasteland, as countless locusts had passed, leaving behind a storm of dust, a figure was walking through the storm, it was Su Qi. He thought to himself, my master's prowess is truly strong, capable of destroying a kingdom with locusts that dare not come near me. Over the years, he had endured many hardships but always managed to survive. He believed, this is my master testing my Tao heart. Not long after, Su Qi saw an old, crooked tree ahead with a figure sitting underneath, a ragged old man meditating, his face's wrinkles resembling the tree bark behind him. Su Qi greeted with a fist and palm salute, Senior, may I ask where this place is? The old man replied without opening his eyes, Northern Province. Hearing this, Su Qi suddenly felt an urge to cry, Northern Province? After nearly a hundred years, I finally, finally arrived at the Northern Province. He immediately turned and knelt down, bowing towards the sky behind him, Master, do you see this? Your disciple has not let you down. The old man opened his eyes and looked at him strangely, so happy to reach the Northern Province. Do you know what place the Northern Province is? Su Qi stood up, turned towards him, wiped his tears away, and smiled.
wild. Uh, I indeed don't know much, but the monster taming demon sect is in the northern province, right? The old man frowned and asked, Do you have a connection with the monster taming demon sect? Su Chi excitedly said, I will once I join the monster taming demon sect. The old man shook his head, I see. The threshold for the monster taming demon sect is quite high. Even with your golden core realm cultivation, joining won't be easy. Besides, the northern province is a land where demons run amok. He advised Su Chi, young man, I urge you not to step into the northern province. It's a hell on earth. Su Chi laughed. Is that so? I'll be careful then. But he thought to himself, the northern province? Is it more formidable than my master? In the blink of an eye, another five years passed. The great swallow experienced a rare blizzard, covering the entire jade pure sect in snow, a picturesque scene of desolate beauty. Han Ju stepped out of his cave dwelling to a world blanketed in white. I've lived a hundred years, and this is the first time I've encountered such heavy snow. Little Rooster and Sun Chang and found it fun, but Han Ju sensed something unusual. As Han Ju pondered, the system suddenly prompted, a millennium-old demon is about to awaken. You have the following choices. 1. Emerge now, slay the demon, save the people, and receive a spiritual treasure and a divine ability inheritance. 2. Continue your cultivation, steer clear of danger, and receive a random heavenly material and earthly treasure seed. A millennium-old demon? Sounds formidable. I'd be foolish to go and slay it. Without hesitation, Han Ju immediately chose the second option. The system congratulated him. You have chosen to continue your cultivation, steering clear of danger. You receive a random heavenly material and earthly treasure. Fusang Tree Seed. The Fusang Tree, a divine tree of heaven and earth, can enhance the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. After 10,000 years, it can attract a golden crow, and after a million years, it can connect to other realms. Han Ju looked at the seed that suddenly appeared in his hand and raised an eyebrow slightly. The Fusang Tree, related to the sun in myths, but a million years is too long. Han Ju turned and called Sun Chang and over to the front of the cave dwelling. Sun Chang'an's eyes gleamed with anticipation. Master, could it be that Master is going to teach me a divine ability? Han Ju handed him the seed, saying, This is my treasured tree. From today onwards, you are to plant it here and meditate in front of it every day. You must protect it well. If it doesn't grow well, I will hold you accountable. Meanwhile, in another realm, also blanketed in snow, countless demons crawled in the forests. Yang Tiandong led the group. Yang Tiandong turned to an old tree demon beside him and asked, How much longer? The old tree demon replied, Soon, the great Dian Su demon king will awaken. Yang Tiandong frowned, If he's so powerful, why has he been asleep for 2,000 years? 2,000 years ago, before the Great Swallow existed, this place was rarely visited by humans, and was a paradise for our demon kind. Dian Su Demon King was the only demon king in this land, and all demons obeyed him. Until one time, a human cultivator stumbled into this land. Seeing him injured, Dian Su Demon King helped him. However, that man betrayed his kindness and brought countless cultivators to attack us. A war that lasted decades erupted. Dian Su Demon King was sealed here, and we, the demons, were decimated. Few survived. Yang Tiandong asked with a frown. Don't those cultivators worry that Dian Su Demon King might awaken? The old tree demon scoffed. Human hearts are uglier than those of demons. Two thousand years have passed, and they're no longer united against a common enemy. They might have already turned on each other, with few still alive. Yang Tiandong asked, When Dian Su Demon King awakens, will he slaughter all the humans in the Great Swallow? Of course, this territory originally belonged to us, the old tree demon replied. Yang Tiandong thought of the Jade Pure Sect and Han Ju, planning to inform his master of this news as soon as possible. Soon, the group of demons arrived at the mountain top where the demon king was sealed. They felt the oppressive force growing stronger from beneath the ice. As a beam of golden light faded, the sound of icebergs shattering echoed in the distance. Accompanied by a earth-shattering roar, the demon king broke through the seal, emerging from the ice. Blood light soared into the sky atop the mountain, and a roar suppressed for a thousand years tore through the heavens. The demons felt an unprecedented terror and pressure. Yang Tiandong felt a strong unease. This is bad. This pressure far exceeds my master's. Master is in danger. At this moment, outside his cave dwelling, Han Ju also received a system alert about the Demon King's emergence. I didn't expect this Demon King to come so soon. The blizzard in the Great Swallow lasted for two years before stopping. One day, a figure stealthily infiltrated the Jade Pure Sex Scripture Pavilion. This person's cultivation was so high that no one knew the pavilion had been thoroughly searched. Among the scriptures, nothing caught this person's eye except for a booklet titled Observations of a Hundred Female Cultivators. Finally, a Jade Pure Sect disciple guarding the pavilion noticed the intrusion and attacked with a sword. In an instant, two disciples were knocked out and thrown out of the pavilion. The intruder mocked boldly, trash, just trash. This is the foundation of the Jade Pure Sect. Is this really the number one sect in the Great Swallow? So weak. He looked towards the direction where the spiritual energy was densest, ascetic immortal mountain, thinking, that must be where the god-slaying elder is in seclusion. I really want to see what it would be like for you to kneel before me, begging for mercy. He he he. Han Ju also detected that a powerful individual had entered the Jade Pure Sect. Leisure 
true person, Fusion Void Realm 9th Layer, an Elder of the Blood Flame Heavenly Gate, Hanju thought, since that's the case, it's time to deal with you. After taking a booklet of female cultivator portraits from the scripture pavilion, Leisure True Person flew towards ascetic immortal mountain. As he neared the peak with surging spiritual energy, he suddenly felt uneasy. Having wandered the cultivation world for many years, he trusted his instincts. He also remembered the advice of the sect master Lu Bumi before leaving. Brother, I know you enjoy seeking the Tao. Don't forget the main purpose of our trip to the Great Swallow. Of course, my primary goal is still to assess the strength of potential enemies for the sect. I have my measures. This time I plan to disguise myself as one of their disciples. If their sect is strong, we will bide our time. If weak, I will eradicate them directly. As he flew closer, the spiritual energy became denser. Soon, he reached Hanju's territory. Looking at the foundation of the Jade Pure Sect, it's just SOSO. No wonder the Nine Cauldron Sage refused to stay in the Jade Pure Sect. Always limited by his narrow view, his cultivation will never progress. If I'm not mistaken, they call this place ascetic immortal mountain. Such taste, lacking. In a flash, Leisure True Person saw a huge Dharma figure suddenly appear in front of him, which abruptly vanished the moment he was taken aback. Is it an illusion? Ascetic immortal mountain is right before my eyes, yet for some reason, an inexplicable sense of danger arises in my heart. Despite having reached the fusion void realm many years ago, this is the first time I've felt this way. There are some entities in the cultivation world that defy common logic. Caution is the best approach. He then formed a seal and chanted sending out a part of his spiritual sense. Meanwhile, atop ascetic immortal mountain, Hanju sat in meditation, quietly waiting. He sensed, I've sensed him. He's here. From afar, leisure true person saw him and thought to himself, what a handsome man. He's only at the ninth level of the foundation establishment realm. He must be a disciple of the god-slaying elder. Leisure true person looked at Hanju and asked with a smile, young man, is the god-slaying elder here? At that moment, a system notification came to Hanju. Leisure true person has developed a favorable impression of you. Current favorability is two stars. Hanju replied helplessly, What do you want? Leisure True Person answered with a charming smile, Of course, to ask him to submit to our blood flame heavenly gate. Submit? How about facing my sword first? Hanju flipped his right hand and took out the primordial judgment sword. Seeing the primordial judgment sword, Leisure True Person's pupils shrank. This treasure has an extraordinary origin. Even without releasing sword energy, its dominance is already palpable. Wait, he seems to be covered in spiritual treasures. Could he be the god slaying elder? Leisure True Person was shocked. Fusion Void Realm. So, you are the God-slaying Elder. With a burst of golden light from his hand, Hanju shouted, Three Pure Worlds Extermination. As the treasured sword was thrust into the ground, countless golden sword shadows struck Leisure True Person with such speed that he couldn't react. His body instantly pierced by several sword energies. Before Leisure True Person could stabilize himself, he was horrified to see countless sword shadows covering the sky from all directions. This is bad. My escape is cut off. I can't escape. The sword energy is too overbearing. I have no way to counter it. I'm doomed. I must sacrifice that item and escape in the chaos. In an instant, Leisure True Person sacrificed a spiritual treasure, Azure Lotus Supreme Treasure Tower. The small tower quickly expanded, covering his body, but then it was struck by countless sword shadows. Leisure True Person then formed a spell with his hands, self-destruction of the spiritual treasure, and in an instant, spiritual power exploded, sending multicolored shockwaves into the sky. Leisure True Person's physical body, along with the Azure Tower, was directly blasted into ashes. Far away, Leisure True Person's avatar trembled, vomiting blood, damn it, this is a heavy loss, but I'll remember this. Luckily, he had used the bright dark separation technique to leave an avatar, so even if his physical body died, the avatar could become the true body. The tyranny of the sword energy is unprecedented, even the remnants reached me here. With just one move, both the Azure Lotus Tower and my body were gone, truly a loss of both wife and troops. What kind of demon or ghost is the god-slaying elder? This place is not safe to stay. I must quickly inform the blood flame heavenly gate about this, and we must not provoke them. After the explosion, Hanju also detected that Leisure True Person's spiritual energy was still present, transformed into spiritual energy. It was an avatar. Damn, my power has been exposed. I was careless, and the enemy was equally cautious. This is going to be troublesome. What if after the smaller ones come the bigger ones? Oh right, he's among my contacts. Targeting him just got easier. With that, Hanju took out the Book of Misfortune and started cursing Leisure True Person. Three years later, Leisure True Person finally escaped back to the Blood Flame Heavenly Gate. Seeing the sorry state of Leisure True true person. Lu Bami was shocked. Junior brother. I've finally returned. Holy crap. Senior brother. How did you end up in such a sorry state? Leisure true person recounted all the misfortunes he encountered on his way back, but he did not mention Hanju. Lu Bami said, I see. That's not a big problem. Oh right. Our set disciples have completed their training, and your return is timely. Leisure true person looked towards the training ground. Ha, huh? let's flatten the great swallow together. Remembering Hanju's unparalleled face, leisure true person's soul couldn't help but tremble. No, don't go to the great swallow. Junior brother, absolutely
absolutely not. The Jade Pure Sect in the Great Swallow has an unmatched powerhouse. I couldn't even take one of his moves. Let's postpone the invasion. Lu Bummy widened his eyes in shock, but our Blood Flame Heavenly Gate is fully prepared. If we give up now, won't all our preparations be in vain? Besides, we've just unified the Great Way, and the morale of our people is high. Damaging morale at this time is also inappropriate. Senior brother, we still need more resources. We must dispatch troops. With that guest elder on our side, we might stand a chance. Leisure true person side. This god slaying elder has always kept a low profile. The Jade Pure Sect status as the number one sect in the Great Swallow is largely due to him. He seems to be at the Fusion Void realm, but the impression he gives me is very elusive. Saying he is unfathomable is not an exaggeration. Even that guest elder might not have an advantage against him. You know my intuition is always accurate. It's better to be safe than sorry. Lu Bami furrowed his brows, unable to comprehend how the Great Swallow could possess such a formidable individual. Then, let's target the Western Abyss province instead. This statement sparked widespread discussion. What? Were we targeting the Great Swallow? Isn't going to the Western Abyss province also passing through the Great Swallow? We're not attacking them? The Nine Dragons sect of the Western Abyss province has recently undergone a turmoil. Striking them while they're weak is also our opportunity. Leisure True Person went back to heal his injuries, promising to assist them in attacking the Western Abyss province once he had recovered. As he left, he thought, the Great Swallow, how can it possess such a formidable individual? Better to avoid it in the future. In the northern part of the Great Swallow, snow stretched for hundreds of miles, and within the vast expanse of snow stood a terrifying figure hundreds of meters tall, with many transformed demon kings gathered together, kneeling before it. The old tree demon was the first to speak. We await demon king's orders. Demon king, when shall we wash the Great Swallow's human race in blood? Dian Su demon king responded with a cold tone. Wash the human race in blood? When did I ever say I wanted to wash the human race in blood? Yang Tiandong clearly felt a terrifying spiritual sense sweeping over them, eventually focusing on Yang Tiandong. Dian Su Demon King noticed the one with a distinctly different aura. Hmm. Half demon power, half human energy, a half demon, and with such strong energy, this kid has hidden himself well. No wonder these demons haven't noticed. Interesting. Dian Su Demon King thought, then said, Little demon, come here. Yang Tiandong tensed up at Dian Su Demon King's words, cautiously raising his eyes to look, terrifying, suffocating, an oppressive aura that feels like heading into the abyss. Dian Su Demon King as the Lord of the Abyss. Fear engulfed Yang Tiandong, at this moment feeling, I'm done for. Meanwhile, in another part of the cultivation world, within the dungeons of the Nine Dragons Sect, a person was chained to a massive stone. This person was the sect master of the Nine Dragons Sect, who cursed, Wei Yuan, in this life, I will be at odds with you. Standing in front of him was indeed Wei Yuan, whose body had been taken over by Huang Zuntian. Holding a dagger, Wei Yuan asked, Senior brother, how many years has it been since I returned from the Jade Pure Sect? The sect master remained silent, but Wei Yuan continued, Let me tell you, it's been 16 years. A whole 16 years. Do you know how I've spent these 16 years? Ever since I came back, I've been under your control, needing your permission for everything. To win over your confidence, I've put in a lot of effort, and now I've finally brought you down. The Nine Dragon Sect Master said, Junior brother wouldn't think so far ahead. Who exactly are you? As soon as he finished speaking, Wei Yuan swiftly slit his throat. Wei Yuan walked out of the dungeon and slowly, and his astute disciples immediately hailed, greetings to the sect master. An elder asked Wei Yuan, sect master, what's our direction for development? What are our goals? Wei Yuan coldly responded, nothing special, just focus on ascetic cultivation. Should we continue preparing to attack the Great Swallow? Hearing this, Wei Yuan was startled, nobody is allowed to mention the Great Swallow again. I'll be angry at anyone who brings it up. Yes, sect master. After the millennium old demon Dian Su demon king emerged, there was no movement, and the cultivation world of the Great Swallow remained peaceful. One day, with nothing better to do, Han Ju took out the Book of Misfortune to see if any of his enemies had died. Han Ju complained to the Book of Misfortune, after so long, there's still no change in the Book of Misfortune. I was too careless in that last battle, not expecting the enemy to be as cautious as me, and the Book of Misfortune couldn't do anything to him. In the future, if I encounter an enemy, I must use my strongest move to instantly kill them. Not long after, Li Qingzi's shouts came from outside the cave dwelling, his face filled with worry. Elder Han, something terrible has happened. Han Ju felt a jolt in his heart, waiting for Li Qingzi to elaborate, speak, is it the millennium old demon attacking, or has the blood flame heavenly gate come? It's neither, it's about the nine dragon sect. Wei Yuan, who had a grudge with you before, has become the new sect master of the nine dragon sect. Do you think he might come for revenge? Ha, huh? he became the sect master? This reminded Han Ju of Huang Zuntian's previous promise. Do you need me to become the sect master? Han Ju was speechless. That works. With Huang Zuntian successfully taking over as the sect master of the nine dragon sect, Han Ju considered one of his concerns resolved. The system notified, Wang Zuntian has developed a favorable impression towards you. Current favorability is five stars. Han Ju reassured Li Qingzi not to worry. Sect leader, rest assured, I've made a promise with Wei Yuan.
Han. He won't trouble us. Li Qingzi was relieved. Really? That's great. Elder Han. Just as Han Zhu was about to return to his seclusion, Li Qingzi stopped him. Elder Han, would you be willing to become the fourth sect leader of the Jade Pure Sect? Over the years, you've contributed so much to the Jade Pure Sect, and your achievements are unparalleled. No one is more suitable than you. But Han Zhu immediately and decisively refused. Being the sect leader is really not good. Not to mention getting beaten up all the time. There's also so much to manage. And most importantly, there's no time for cultivation. Elder Han, please reconsider. Han Zhu walked away without looking back, leaving Li Qingzi standing there in a daze. Stepping out of the innate cave dwelling, Li Qingzi couldn't help but look towards the Fusang tree. After so many years, ascetic immortal mountain has changed quite a bit. I remember there wasn't this sapling before. Even in its germination period, it can produce such vast spiritual energy. What kind of heavenly material and earthly treasure is this? And that demonic pet has reached the golden core realm, even stronger than some disciples in the sect. It's baffling. They're even inferior to a chicken. Suddenly, a demonic aura brushed past Li Qingzi, another golden core realm demon. Damn it. A half-human, half-demon, Yang Tiandong, arriving in front of the innate cave dwelling, Yang Tiandong knelt down with tears in his eyes, worshipping Han Ju. Master, I've returned. You actually remembered to come back. Yang Tiandong immediately clung to Han Ju's legs, crying, Master, I, I was captured by a demon king, went through numerous adventures, and eventually became a demon king myself, with countless demons under my command, which I couldn't bear to leave. Who would have thought? The Great Swallow has now seen the most powerful Jian Su demon king in history. The original demon kings of the Great Swallow could only submit to him, and he even forced me to become his adopted son. He has a huge conspiracy to domesticate the human race of the Great Swallow, and now he's preparing to lead the demons to the border of the Great Swallow. What? Say that again. Yang Tiandong repeated, Dian Su Demon King is preparing to attack the Great Swallow. Now he's about to unify the Great Swallow. No, the sentence before that. Dian Su Demon King forced me to become his adopted son. Han Ju gritted his teeth and said, A disciple is also a son. The vengeance of taking a son is irreconcilable. How strong is he? Yang Tiandong answered, He's extremely powerful, at least in the Union realm. Before he came, the strongest Demon King in the Great Swallow was only at the Spirit Transformation realm. But Dian Su Demon King could kill us just with his aura. I only managed to escape under the pretense of scouting the Great Swallow. Master, we should flee quickly. No, we're not running. Yang Tiandong was very puzzled. He knew that facing an almost invincible millennium old demon like Tian Su Demon King, his master would surely choose to avoid danger. Then Han Ju suddenly had an idea. Go back to that demon king and tell him that I admire him very much. Basically, speak well of me to him. Make him develop a good impression of me. Yang Tiandong was very puzzled. Master, are you planning to defect? Han Ju didn't bother with explanations, instructing Yang Tiandong to quickly go back and follow his orders. Three months later, Han Ju checked his messages in the relationship panel. Su Qi actually joined the monster taming demon sect. This kid is something. In the special attention section, another message instantly energized Han Ju. Dian Su Demon King has developed a favorable impression of you. Current favorability is one star. Finally, I wonder how Yang Tiandong managed to persuade that demon king. If Han Ju knew that Yang Tiandong had shown his portrait to the demon king, he would be furious. At the moment, the demons were contemplating capturing Han Ju to present him to Dian Su Demon King as the chief consort. Yang Tiandong exclaimed, but master isn't a woman. Don't worry, we demons don't care about these details. Look how pleased our lord is. After making up his mind, Han Ju took out the Book of Misfortune to curse Dian Su Demon King. Han Ju thought, Union Realm 4th Layer, with my current cultivation at the Fusion Void Realm 7th Layer, winning a direct confrontation seems unlikely, but the Book of Misfortune can do it, and I'm not afraid of him discovering it. Previous curses have proven that even higher level cultivators can't trace the cause and effect of a curse. Although it hasn't recorded killing an enemy directly, it can still be a nuisance regardless of the cultivation level. As long as these people are in my friends list, the Book of Misfortune can specifically target them with curses. Just writing the name, however, makes the curse's output insufficiently sustained, which is why I haven't managed to kill enemies with it before. Li Qianlong is proof of that. The key point is, I've never cursed with all my strength before. A full power curse requires a considerable amount of spiritual power. Let's try using all my spiritual power to curse this time and see what effect it has on Dian Su Demon King. The Book of Misfortune emitted strands of eerie blood energy, making Dian Su Demon King's name seem especially sinister. The system suddenly issued a warning. Excessive use of the Book of Misfortune may lead to backlash. The Book of Misfortune finally gave feedback. The first time. Let's stop here. The effect of using the Book of Misfortune with all my strength is domineering. Five stars. But it's a bit of harming the enemy by a thousand and self-harming by eight hundred. Decided. I'll curse Dian Su Demon King once every three years. Let's keep him from getting ideas about us. At this moment, in the demon lair amidst icy snow, Dian Su Demon King was tormented by Han Ju's curse, suffering terribly. What chilled him the most was that he could no longer cultivate. 
the demonic power in his body decreased instead of increasing with each breath he took. Cough cough. Who have I offended to deserve such despicable tactics? Could it be? They have returned? No. That's impossible. This. This. A miracle. Celestial immortals from heaven? Do they know about my plan to obliterate the Great Swallow? So they've come to warn me? Ten years later, as the Fusong tree continued to grow, the closest innate cave dwelling benefited first, with a surge in spiritual energy. Han Ju and Xing Hongxian, the sweet couple, lived a shameless life, sweating profusely, organizing small events every two days and big ones every three. However, this manga is a very serious cultivation manga, so the couple only indulged in eating snail noodle soup, tasting the delicacies of the world. While eating, Han Ju detected the arrival of two fusion void realm auras at the Jade Pure set, one of whom was an old acquaintance. Han Ju told Xing Hongxian to keep eating while he would return shortly, leaving Xing Hongxian yearning for more. She alone in the room said, Husband, come back soon. It won't taste good when it's cold. Otherwise, I'll help you eat it. Looking at the ascetic immortal mountain in front of him, Shang Wan Chuqian laughed. So, this is the Jade Pure sect you spoke of? Are there really experts here as you claim? I don't feel any strong sword intent. It seems to be just SOSO. The speaker was Shang Wan Chuqian, who had previously persuaded Huang Jihao to join the True Martial Sect and Fusion Void Realm Ninth Layer Expert and the Sword Elder of the True Martial Sect. Huang Jihao advised him, don't speak too soon. I thought the same last time. Before they could continue, they heard a voice from behind. What brings you to the Jade Pure Sect? Surprised, the two turned around, and Huang Jihao immediately bowed and said with a trembling voice, Huang Jihao pays respects to the senior. Shang Wan Chuqian thought, when did he arrive? I didn't detect his presence at all. Is this the senior Huang Jihao described? Huang Jihao, let me tell you, you really need to practice your drawing skills. How could you make such a handsome guy look like a melon? Huang Jihao awkwardly said, I really didn't know the senior had changed his hairstyle. That's not the point. Han Ju telepathically asked Huang Jihao, Huang Jihao, if you are being kidnapped, blink your eyes. Huang Jihao respectfully said, Senior, rest assured, we mean no harm. This is Shang Wan Chuqian, the number one sword cultivator from the true martial sect of the Western Abyss province. We are here to exchange sword techniques with you. Han Ju thought to himself, in exchange, just at the fusion void realm ninth layer, how dare he? Shang Wan Chuqian chuckled, fellow Taoist, don't worry, it's just a friendly exchange. It will not affect the relationship between the Jade Pure Sect and the true martial sect. We will stop at the right moment. Han Ju sighed, ah, I'm a person who dislikes trouble. How about this? I'll make one move, and if you can withstand it, I'll consider it my loss. Shang Wan Chuqian, thinking Han Ju was afraid, readily accepted. You look down on me? Well, I would like to see what's so special about your one move. Huang Jihao, already understanding Han Ju's intention, was terrified to the point of being pale and speechless. Han Ju said, then I must offend fellow Taoist Chang Wan. He then suddenly drew out the primordial judgment sword. Seeing the sword energy released by Han Ju, Huang Jihao thought, it's over. The senior is stronger than before. Eight layers of fusion void realm spiritual power, like a mountain torrent bursting, all poured into the primordial judgment sword. Shang Wan Chuqian also felt this strike was extraordinary, as a sword energy swept across the sky, and time seemed to stand still. Shang Wan Chuqian widened his eyes and reached for the sword at his waist. Instant skill to face? Shang Wan Chuqian thought he was dead, with his life flashing before his eyes in an instant. Standing there as if soulless, the ground next to Shang Wan Chuqian was sliced open by the sword energy, leaving a chasm that seemed bottomless. Han Ju sheathed the primordial judgment sword and said indifferently, using my left hand really did affect my accuracy a bit. Ah, were you holding back? It seems you couldn't even catch a single sword strike, Han Ju said softly, his cold expression making Huang Jihao feel as if he was looking at a sword immortal at the end of the path of swordsmanship. With a thud, Shang Wan Chuqian's legs went weak, and he knelt on the ground, not just unable to catch it. I didn't even have a chance to resist. Me, the number one sword cultivator of the true martial set, couldn't withstand a single strike from someone else. I even aspired to be the number one sword cultivator in the world. How ridiculous that seems now. Han Ju encouraged, don't be disheartened. As the saying goes, there's always someone better out there, and you can't see a rainbow without a bit of rain. Your talent is decent, and you have a promising future. It's not impossible to win against me. I see potential in you. Hearing Han Ju say this, Shang Wan Chuqian was stunned. I have lost. After his defeat in the exchange, Shang Wan Chuqian became completely listless. Seeing Shang Wan Chuqian kneeling before him, Han Ju suddenly felt a bit of pity. Did I go too far? Maybe he wasn't here to cause trouble, just genuinely seeking guidance? I held back in my strike. He should be able to recover quickly. Let's not speak of today's events to anyone else. With that, Han Ju turned to leave. Shang Wan Chuqian hastily got up. Senior, please wait. May I know your Taoist name? Reincarnation. Dropping this word, Han Ju then left on his sword. Shang Wan Chuqian stood there dazed, repeating the word reincarnation to himself. Huang Jihao consoled. I had it worse than you at first. This is nothing. At least you weren't injured. Reincarnation. Could it be that this Taoist name belongs to a great power living incognito among us? It seems I've been a frog in a well. System notification. Shang Wan Chuqian 
has developed a good impression of you. Current favorability is 3 stars. Han Ju couldn't help but shake his head. Do these geniuses have something in common? Getting beaten up raises their favorability? To be fair, Han Ju really did look cool with that move, but the aftermath was rather awkward. The tree that Han Ju split in half was named the Jade Pure Tree, personally planted by the Nine Cauldron Sage on the day the sect was founded. No, the Jade Pure Tree. That was personally planted by our ancestor, the Nine Cauldron Sage, on the day our sect was founded. It's been over a thousand years. Who the hell cut it down? Li Qingzi, knowing full well it was Han Ju's doing, could only swallow his bitterness. Han Ju guiltily said, I happened to witness it. It was done by a cat. What kind of cat has such power? And what's with this crack in the ground? Do you know how hard it is to redraw the map? Han Ju also felt this incident was too ostentatious, violating his principle of keeping a low profile. Some techniques become more powerful as my cultivation level increases. No, I need to figure out a move that can strike enemies discreetly without affecting the surrounding environment. Meanwhile, in the icy, snowy lair of the demons, the Dian Su Demon King was going mad. Ever since that bizarre injury, he would relive that nightmare every three years. Why? That feeling again. Who is targeting me? He was clueless about the root of the problem. If it was indeed the work of an immortal, why not just kill him? One day, a lesser demon came to report. Report to Demon King. Your adopted son Yang Tiandong has arrived. Dian Su Demon King thought, fine, let him in. Yang Tiandong bluffed Dian Su Demon King, saying, adoptive father, hearing of your troubles, your son has come to relieve you of them. Oh, you know about my issues? Yang Tiandong took the opportunity to continue. Adoptive father, I've recently sought a divination from a wise man, and it suggested that your troubles are related to your endeavors. Dian Su Demon King pondered, is that so? Could this curse be related to my plans to attack the human race? It's not impossible. Better to believe it, and be cautious. Perhaps it is indeed for this reason that the immortals have cursed me. Yang Tiandong asked, so, adoptive father, are we canceling our plans to attack the human race? Dian Su Demon King sighed resignedly, let's cancel it for now. You notify the others. Yang Tiandong outwardly complied, but inwardly he was disdainful. Was it really that easy to deceive him? Master, great swallow is saved, but that's not enough. I have greater ambitions. A man should not live under others forever. Just you wait. Dian Su Demon King, your position as Demon King will eventually be mine. Half a year later, Sheng Wan Chiu Jian and Huang Jihao returned to the true martial sect. After being defeated by Han Ju, Sheng Wan Chiu Jian's Dao heart was nearly destroyed. To solidify his Dao heart, he continuously challenged summoners in the valley during his return journey to rebuild his confidence. Sheng Wan Chiu Jian said to Huang Jihao, I feel like I've regained my confidence. Yes, and the fact that this master was of Highland bloodline and you defeated him shows you your level. Not everyone is like Senior Han. I plan to go into seclusion at the true martial sect for a while to consolidate my Dao heart. I will go back and challenge that senior again in the future. Huang Jihao exclaimed in surprise, you're going back. I won't carry you back next time. Just then, the sky underwent a dramatic change, displaying a purple glow, and the swords of Sheng Wan Chiu Jian and Huang Jihao began to tremble. Both looked at their swords in horror. What's happening? Has someone else comprehended the ancient sword Dao? Huang Jihao looked at Sheng Wan Chiu Jian in alarm. You don't think it's? Sheng Wan Chiu Jian said in denial, absolutely impossible. To comprehend the ancient sword Dao once in a lifetime is already reaching the heavens. How could he? But that direction, it seems to be where Great Swallow is. Elsewhere, on the peak of a towering mountain, a man in a black robe was meditating, surrounded by a vast sea of clouds. He suddenly opened his eyes as the swords on his left and right vibrated intensely. The man in the black robe frowned and murmured, Ha, huh, someone else has had an insight into the ancient sword intent. Strange, why can't I deduce any further? He took out a talisman paper, placed it on the ground in front of him, and began to cast a spell. After a few moments, characters gradually appeared on the talisman, eventually forming two bold characters, reincarnation. What does this mean? Does reincarnation refer to the laws of heaven and earth, or to a cultivator? The Jade Pure sect was also enveloped in a purple glow, from the elders to the outer sect disciples. All their swords trembled, causing everyone to nervously gather together for discussion. The sky has changed color. What's happening? Could a great being have emerged? Sect leader. This is a rare phenomenon. All swords resonating. It must signify a great terror. Li Qingzi tried to calm everyone. Stay calm. Haven't we experienced all swords resonating before? It will be alright this time too. Li Qingzi was very frustrated. Why has the Jade Pure sect faced so many disasters and difficulties during my tenure as sect leader? I wonder if Elder Han has been disturbed. If he leaves because of this, the Jade Pure sect might never find another pillar like him. At the same time, within the innate cave dwelling, a small sword pattern emerged between Han Ju's eyebrows, faintly visible. Han Ju was comprehending sword intent, a type of sword intent unique to him. Suddenly, his consciousness found itself in an endlessly flowing river of sword paths. Han Ju's consciousness awakened within this river, and ahead, silhouettes illuminated by sword light appeared, blurry and indistinct. These figures moved slowly, and Han Ju passed them one by one, entering a profound state. What is this place? I was clearly in my cave dwelling a moment ago. How did I end up here? Han Ju's spiritual sense entered the river of 
sword paths, advancing step by step, surpassing sword cultivators moving along the sword path. At this moment, the system notified Hanju, system notification, this is the river of sword paths advancing within it can temper the will of the sword path, the higher one's comprehension of the sword path, the further one can go. Hanju went further and further, with no one catching up from behind, and no figures appearing in front of the light. Hanju speculated that those walking in front of him must have a higher mastery of the sword path, there are quite a few people. Thankfully I don't go out much, otherwise facing these people would likely result in defeat. I can't fall behind, I must catch up with them first. Suddenly, a mysterious and terrifying sword intent burst forth, sweeping towards Hanju, giving him a momentary fear of facing death. A towering figure suddenly appeared ahead, shouting angrily, mortals wishing to touch the realm of immortals, you are not worthy, retreat. Before the words fell, the figure with angry eyes shouted loudly, and in an instant, countless sword intents shone with golden light, attacking Hanju before he could react. The river of sword path shattered, and Hanju's spiritual sense was pierced by the sky-filled sword intent. Finally, Hanju woke up as if from a dream, his consciousness returning to his body. He gasped for air, his face covered in sweat, recalling the encounter. Who was that person? Just with sword intent, he could harm me from afar. Fortunately, he had no intent to kill, or my primordial spirit might have been destroyed. At this moment, the system delivered another notification. Congratulations on comprehending the Taiyi Grade Sword Intent, named Reincarnation Sword Intent. As this is your first time comprehending Taiyi Grade Sword Intent, you receive a spiritual treasure. Congratulations on obtaining the Taiyi Grade 6th Rank Spiritual Treasure, Meditation Cushion. Meditation Cushion, Taiyi Grade 6th Rank Spiritual Treasure, can enhance cultivation speed and calm the mind, stabilizing against inner demons. Hanju was somewhat shocked. Taiyi Grade? Could this be a level that transcends the moral realm? The immortal realm? Could it be the world after ascension? So, the people on the river of sword paths just now, were they all great vehicle ascenders? That makes sense. Their cultivation levels are high, so their sword intent would naturally not be weak. Hanju summoned a small sword with his palm. In the future, if someone challenges me, I'll specifically use this reincarnation sword intent to target and kill them, and it won't cause too much of a commotion. The purple glow in the sky began to fade, and the jade pure sect returned to tranquility once more. Buchanan was still diligently practicing his heartless sword technique. Although his talent was not high, his diligence made up for it. This time, he finally managed to produce sword energy, cutting off the head of a wooden dummy. Buchanan stared at the sword in his hand, knowing that the emergence of sword energy meant that his emotional attachments were about to be severed. Excited, he ran to Hanju, Master, I finally have sword energy. In the northern region's monster taming demon sect, hundreds of disciples were engaged in ascetic cultivation, hoping to comprehend the ancient divine abilities sooner. Su Chi was among them, looking troubled. Master, why haven't you made a move? If you don't act soon, I'll be forced to practice demonic techniques. He didn't want to practice the demonic techniques of the monster taming demon sect. He wanted to be a cultivator of the righteous path. Just then, a figure appeared in the sect's training ground, shouting, Stop training. Elder Xiao has passed away. All disciples must immediately go to pay respects. This announcement caused a stir among everyone. How is that possible? Wasn't Elder Xiao full of vitality just yesterday? Maybe it was a brief resurgence of energy. I was still listening to his teachings this morning. I can't believe he's gone so suddenly. Su Chi followed the crowd, secretly excited. Could it be that Master has started to make a move? Inside the monster taming demon sex ancestral hall, Elder Xiao's body lay at the center, with other elders casting spells to maintain his weak soul. Sect leader Tu Quan, with a somber expression, said, Elder Xiao, we have done our best. This secret technique can only sustain the soul for a short period. You suddenly passed away today. Do you have any last words? Xiao was in a state of confusion. To be honest, I feel very suffocated. I don't even know how I died. Tu Quan said, from all indications, your death seemed to be of natural causes, but the second elder deduced that you died from a curse. Xiao fell into despair again. No wonder I've been so unlucky. It turns out it was a curse. Facing inner demons during cultivation, my cultivation level has not increased but regressed. Do you know who might be responsible? We will avenge you, Xiao said. It's hard to say, as I had killed all my enemies, leaving no troubles behind. Wait, could it be him? Xiao thought of Han Ju's peerless face, and for some reason, he had a strong feeling that ever since Han Ju thwarted his plan, misfortunes had piled up, and he frequently encountered inner demons during cultivation. It must be him. The more Xiao thought about it, the more agitated he became. Tu Quan urged him to calm down, otherwise, his soul would dissipate even faster. Helplessly, Xiao's soul began to dissipate. He weakly said, brother, my brothers, my last words, never go to Great Swallow, and never provoke the Jade Pure sect of Great Swallow. Before he could finish, his soul completely disappeared like smoke. Elder Brother Xiao, brother, you haven't left the summoning incantation for that demon pet. Brother, where did you hide your treasures? The crowd was shocked, looking up at the sky as a strong being vanished so mysteriously. Tu Quan frowned and asked the others, Great Swallow, what place is that? Everyone looked at each other, don't know, have no idea. Sect leader, how about we send someone to investigate? 
right. Tu Quan shook his head. No, it's too dangerous. Didn't you hear what the brother said at the end? We can't even afford to provoke them. How formidable must that be? Han Ju also received another system notification. Your enemy Xiao has died. Damn, leisure true person. Dian Su Demon King. I wonder how long you two can last under the Book of Misfortune.